Hey guys, I'm Zach and you are the Spawn Nation. Today we're going to do a video on how to upgrade your all-in-one Dell PC from a standard hard drive to an SSD. First, you remove this back plate here that uh, reveals the screws for the stand. There are four screws holding the stand on. There are many different models of the Dell all-in-one PC here, but uh, most of them are very similar in the way that they come apart. Once you remove the screws for the stand and remove the stand, you'll be able to take the remaining back plate off of the back of the computer to get access to the hard drive, which is what we need to clone the hard drive onto an SSD. To get this off, you just simply pull forward towards the top of the computer, and there are two pins that hold it on. Now, <clears throat> with this one here, uh, sometimes they have more screws underneath the stand. Um, also, uh, make sure you don't have any USB uh, connectors for your keyboard or your mouse. Um, some systems will require you to remove the CD drive. There'll be a screw to remove the CD drive before you pull off the back plate here. So you just pop this up, and this one's pretty difficult. Uh, one of the corners really hangs up on me here. So just be firm, but you don't want to force anything. So just work your way around and it will gradually unsnap. All that's underneath here now is just different plastic snaps holding it on. And eventually you'll get it to release. Um, I'm jiggling here, just kind of shaking it. I don't want to break those snaps because we want it to be able to snap back on and be on the case firmly when we're done. Now we can just set this back plate out of the way. Uh, now that you have this open, you might want to uh, make sure you don't have any dust or grime built up in here. You can take this and uh, use an air compressor or some canned air and blow out your fan and clean up your motherboard because dust will get packed in here really gross after a lot of usage but all we need right now is our hard drive so let me step to the other side of the camera here and there's just one screw holding the hard drive in so we'll just take this screw out and then it just simply slides forward and comes right out like this and then we remove our SATA connector and then here what we need to do is take out the four screws on the sides so that we can use this tray on our new SSD and then we'll take this drive to another machine where I have some software and I will clone everything that's on here onto a solid state drive. Now here we have our new solid state drive. Make sure you orient the SATA connector properly and then put your set screws back into the tray here. And then you will reinstall everything exactly as you took it out before. Uh, the tray sits down into the case and slides back with one set screw behind it. And you wanna do what I didn't do here is connect your SATA connector. All right. <clears throat> Then you just snap on the back panel properly. And when you put the stand in, there's two tabs. Slide those in first, and it will just fall down. Put in your four screws that hold the base on. And then snap back in the cover plate. And then let's boot it and see if it works. So let's go ahead and turn it on here, see what we get. Now this is after I took it back apart and reconnected that SATA cord that I failed to connect. And as you can see, Windows is going to go ahead and boot up properly. This is exactly as my client had his computer before. We just used a cloning software and cloned his OS onto the new solid state drive. And that drastically improved the performance. All right, well, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll catch you next time.